So, what about the venue? How does it look like here? Yeah, so we're going to give you some depth, try and show you what we've done with the space. Um, because we only have five teams, it is much more spacious than we need, which has actually worked in our favor. And we're also going to talk a little bit with the other teams. Yes, we will. So, in this corner, we actually have uh, Isodoy with the previous team that hard at work, so we're not going to disturb them. But um, we also have, we have the team colors with lights to light up the wall in every corner. And look at the skeleton, Louis. Oh my God, is it a horse? <laughs> we have a, a spooky, scary skeleton, uh, a horse which we've lit up. We were going to get rid of it because it's not very robotic, but um, it's a cool skeleton horse, so deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so we're going to move around. Uh, on my right here, or to your left from the camera point of view, we have the arena, which has been uh, very, let's just say it was a lot of work getting this lighting set up. Um, we got the team benches as well, which you could be able to see. And the 3D printed robots. And the 3D printed robots. So one thing that's really worth to point out with this is all of this project has been open source. We've been hard at work with, uh, with Yuha and the AI team. So if you want to actually do these robots yourself, we can provide the 3D prints online, as well as you can give you, uh, give you some help with, uh, with actually simulating and training these. We have our own simulator in Unity and uh, Zero One simulator as well. Oh, Hello, team. So, so this is Team Zero One. They were the winners of last year. And uh, you guys look ready to go. Do you want to pass the mic to one? <laughs> hey, hey. I'm not sure how well this sounds through my mask, but yeah, uh, okay. we are about ready to go. Uh, the bots are tested and ready to rumble. Yeah, so one thing we really like about Zero One is that they've coordinated their uniform. Um, in future, we might actually suggest that all teams do the same thing, <laughs> just to add that extra letter of depth. Yeah, it's it's fun to like think of all the small things. Yeah, yeah, extra things like that. But uh, okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, zero so one much. will be the first match up at six o'clock, ideally. Exactly. So, uh, stay tuned, and you'll see more of them. <laughs> so, Louis, what is your favorite thing about today's event so far? My favorite thing. Yeah, your uh, favorite thing. Well, I mean, it's the enthusiasm. It, it's nice seeing this all come together. The AI team, the creative team, the hardware, construction. We've been here every day for the past three days, basically. Building oh, this. we were. <laughs> <laughs> Spent some time here to figure out how everything will look like with the lining, especially. Thank you so much, Krisu, from our creative team and other people from the creative team to make it, it happen. Absolutely. It looks amazing, really. Absolutely, yeah. Krisu, he's actually <laughs> the one on the camera, so hello to Krisu. Um, He's been kind of the head creative for all of this. And yes. uh, he even constructed his own Downfall logo in his own apartment. Uh, Downfall is just to represent um, the theme. As I said in the law, we'll have a segment about the law a bit later, give you a but bit of a But can you maybe just up. like shortly mention something about shortly, Downfall? Shortly, yeah, shortly about the law. So Downfall, I said in the opening presentation, Downfall is, we want AI. AI makes our lives better. However, as every kind of sci-fi dystopian movie shows you, AI brings about humanity's downfall. So it's a very slippery slope, which downfall is very willing to push, which we'll see more about. But okay, we're gonna go through into the next room. Uh, a little bit of a tight squeeze with the camera, so bear with us. <laughs> oh, the camera's just gotten hit, but that's okay. He's coming through now. Hello, hello, and welcome to this room. It's a little bit more silent, and right now the teams aren't here. But when they are, they are working here on the robots. They are getting ready for the game. Yes, so we have uh, the uh, procrastinators in this corner, who are the winners of 2018. Uh, their bots are looking very good as well, but they'll be in game number two at 6.30, ideally. Um, just one thing to show you quickly. <laughs> we are a very big fan of providing stickers at all of our events, and... Uh, well, the winners don't know this yet, but they're going to get golden ones uh, <gasps> as one of the prizes. So. But now you know <laughs> this. But now you know this. Um, so yeah, this room is very spacious. We are going to have the stream up there when we go live with the matches. And when the matches are live, the teams that won't be participating will be here or up in our eating area to stop the place from being so crowded. Can we maybe show the robot a little bit a close up to the camera? How does it look like? So this is Team here, Galactica's corner, but just an example. We have the robot here. Uh, so the way it works is we have an arrow code marker on the top. 
Now the arrow marker is used by the camera to recognize what is robot and what is not. And each team has a pair of these assigned for each robot. And just um, look at this 3D printed parts, it's amazing. Yeah, big thanks to Semi, a lot of work went into this. Basically the purpose of these robots, because they're so miniature, is that you don't need any screws, any, any kind of tools or hardware, they all completely assemble and disassemble by hand. And are um, also pretty cheap. Pretty damn cheap. Uh, <laughs> the great, uh, the good thing about Finland as well, here in Finland, is we have the Audi uh, library, and they have 3D printers that you can actually use for pretty much free. Uh, it's I think 20 cents per print. Very and cheap. A print can mean in the entire body, or it can mean the tracks. So you can basically print your own 3D robot for under two euros. Which I have to say is probably one of the best things about Finland, <laughs> amongst many things. This is actually my favorite thing, the robots. I love them. Yeah, yeah. So it's been it's been very good. So yeah, this room will be filled up soon. Um, this is actually where the dog is as well. So maybe we'll show you the dog. But um, that's all for now. So we're going to get back to you very soon with some talking about the law and hopefully have the matches to by six. Thank you so much, and see you at six.